Welcome to M Random Interviews, where I interview random people for no apparent reason or something. And I'm random for now, but not in 20 years. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> What are your thoughts on Valentine's Day? Like, do you like it? Do you hate it? I do like Valentine's Day. It's just a day, I think, that you just show the person, whoever you would, that you love them. Even like my daughter, I always get her something for Valentine's Day, too. I think Valentine's Day is a great day to show people that you love them, but at the same time, it is a little sad that we don't do that every day of the year. And yeah. it's a little commercialized for my taste. But, I mean, it's still a good day to celebrate. Um. I don't really have an opinion on it. I don't think it's anything too special, but it's, I guess a holiday. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm married, so it's kind of like, it's just like any other day. I think for single people, it's much more sort of, they feel like it's, it's a much more important day. Um, for them because they, they realize they're single more on that day rather than most other days And it's kind of thrown in their face by like, you know, the media and all that kind of stuff And when they go into like, you know, Walmart, all the food and stuff there, you know, things like that um, Whereas for married people or people just in relationships They they feel they maybe have to do a bit more or it's like some sort of special day They have to like go out of their way to do something whereas personally, I think every day should be like that not like going out and spending, you know, fifty, sixty dollars on like a nice meal or whatever. But I mean, just like expressing your love for the other person, that kind of stuff. I mean, it's a day to just chill with your girl, chill with your boyfriend, whatever the case may be. Y'all do y'all little thing and whatnot. You're single, and it's just another day. Um, I think you should treat every day like Valentine's Day. I think that you should always show people that you really care about them. No like reason that. not to be buying chocolate. You always should buy chocolate. <laughs> One day is not enough. True, that is true. Dark or milk chocolate? Both. Why oh. discriminate? It's chocolate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> true that. Do you personally like Valentine's Day? I love Valentine's Day. I like Valentine's Day. Day. I'm very neutral. If I say I don't hate it, but it's like I'm not for it either, I guess. I value Valentine's Day because I'm like a hopeless romantic. So, I mean, I like to get girls stuff, so I, yeah, I like Valentine's Day. But currently I'm not in a relationship, so I hate Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> what do you hate about it the most? I don't know, like, maybe... A uh, massive turnoff would probably be, I don't know, trying too hard. <laughs> trying too hard. Yeah. That's a first. Yeah. People, like, they put, like, a monetary value to it, you know? They're like, oh, you need to get this and this and this, when you don't really have to... I'm not saying don't buy anything, but, like, it should be more about the emotion than like the dollar value. You, some people like think like, oh, this is gonna happen, and then like so you get disappointed. Like I'm not gonna lie, last year I was really disappointed. I was just like, I got nothing, like not even a happy Valentine's Day from him. Uh, and he was my boyfriend, so <laughs> I feel like you set up standards, and that's not good. How about this year? <laughs> this year it was it was okay. I mean, I like friend Valentines and like. Of Valentine, but he wasn't here, so it was yeah. So that <laughs> was weird, but we Why celebrated you there? early. <laughs> um, I, I live in Nebraska. <laughs> Come on, bro. I just came to visit for my class. You know, I, I drive here every day for the class. <laughs> What's the most creative thing you've done for your significant other when you were in a relationship during Valentine's Day? The most creative thing I've done is I planned a whole picnic and. Ended up not going on the picnic because it was too hot, but we still ate the lunch and hung out. Okay, how about for you? I've only had one Valentine's Day with like a relationship, and it was during high school, and we just like changed gifts and kept going to class. I guess that okay. was creative. I don't know if it, you could say it's creative, but I just try to be as thoughtful as, pos as possible. I'm like my boyfriend who really likes um like Disney and Legos, so I just bought him something like that. And it was pretty expensive, but I mean, I, I tried my hardest to, to know. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Like I have done personally is like this past one, I did like the five senses, but in like the non-sexual way. So like I did like, I got him a massage. I, 
for hearing I got him a gift card for iTunes. I did, um, what is it? Seeing, I did I, a picture of us. One of my favorite pictures. Um, what's another one? Smell, I just did a candle. And taste, I did like his favorite candy. That's interesting. Yeah. That's awesome. So I just did random stuff like that. I'm gonna have to um, steal that idea. You yeah. can't make it your own. Yeah. I'm gonna steal that five cents idea. I mean, Definitely. it can pretty much work for anything though. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Like a birthday. True. True that. But just the idea in general, I'm, I'm just gonna steal it. <laughs> Rate the scenario. I'm gonna tell you two scenarios. A scale of one to ten. Okay. Between romantic and cheesy. One is being romantic and 10 is super cheesy. Uh, walking around the park and then like maybe five or 10 minutes into it, um, you guys see a um, picnic set up under a tree, like you set it up yourself or your significant other. You guys go over there and the basket has like sandwiches, um, fruits, drinks, and maybe like a boom box. Like what would... Honestly, to me, a picnic is not cheesy at all. I mean, I'm going to tell you like how somebody told me this. I'm going to tell you. All right. Sometimes corny or cheesy gets the job done. True. That's You know what I'm saying? Like, it, de it depends on the girl or the whoever the person may be, but that person just may like that. So, that's, I mean, a picnic is not cheesy. It's chill. Yeah. It's real chill. That's what I like. Kind of the person I am real chill, so. Ooh, that, it's not cheesy to me, it may be cheesy to other people, but I already being that the other one was more romantic, I'll probably give it a three. Okay. Or four at the most. It's like a cute kind of um, probably I'd say that's super romantic, it's probably a one. Okay. Whatever else. So are, we, are we partaking of somebody else's picnic? Because <laughs> no, no, no. I think on the scale of, you know, romantic to cheesy, I think that's just kind of weird. <laughs> You're being a weirdo. <laughs> that has its own category of itself. Yeah, like, like, oh, hey, there's this trip. Oh, wow, there's this whole picnic basket and everything. Let's just, let's just, you know, move in. Let's take yeah. on some of that. Let's yeah. take their picnic basket. Yeah. <laughs> no, so technically, yeah, it's exactly. like your significant other, like, yeah, yeah. setting it oh, up. Oh, they set it up for, okay. Yeah, so it's point. not just like, it's not just like, oh, it's not a, yeah, it's not a, it's, jack it's, their stuff. yeah, it's not a random, like, yeah, let's go jack. <laughs> no. I, I get you, I get you. That's cute. Um, that's cute. I, I that's think cute. it's cute. I give it like about a seven on the cheese. Like I like cheesy to be honest. Yeah. I, I think it's cute. I okay. can appreciate cheesy to some degree. I mean like not a lot of people do it. But it's nicely okay. shaded. Yeah. Super romantic. Because it's well thought out and you need to do a lot of one. Super one super romantic. Yeah. One super romantic. One. Then it's a one. Okay. How about for you? What would you rate like the whole walk in the park and then picnic? I do like a three. Like it's pretty romantic. But I mean, you always could do that whenever too. Oh. I mean, anyone can do a picnic too, but I mean, that's still really romantic. I would rate that, um, I think I would do like an eight. I think that's really cute. Real cute, kind of cheesy. Yeah. Okay. A candlelit yeah. dinner See you later. with a home cooked meal, of course. Mm -hmm. um, Roses on the table, and I don't know if you drink alcohol, alcohol or not, but like a sparkling wine, like a rosé, for example. Mm -hmm. What would you rate that? I'd say I'd say one too, but it's very cliche. Very cliche. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would probably rate that a ten. I like that intimate versus being out. I don't know, I just like that idea. Okay. I'd give it a five. Give it a five, just like in, in between, all right. Just cause it's not like going anywhere, you're not doing anything, you're just at home. So like a five. Okay, how about for you? I give it a three or four, cause I love home cooked food. It's the way of my heart, so. Yes. It wins. <laughs> all right, food wins. You, you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> don't just let that one day be only day that you express your love for your loved ones. Why discriminate? It's chocolate. Okay. <laughs> True that. <laughs>